In August 1487, Master Mariner Bartolomeu Diaz set sail from Lisbon on a voyage that would change history. After rounding the bulge of Africa, Diaz had to fight the southerly winds that prevail along the West African coast. Sailing all the way past what is present-day Angola and Namibia, Diaz managed to reach further south than any previous European explorer. But at a point just south of the Orange River, Diaz grew tired of tacking against the stormy southerly winds. Leaving the coast, he sailed out into the open sea. Turbulent weather drove them dangerously further south for 13 days. Then a favorable wind enabled Diaz to steer eastward to make for land. But surprisingly, they could not find the coast. Without realizing it, Diaz had sailed around the southern tip of Africa. Diaz steered northward and finally saw land again. Then, on the 3rd of February, 1488, he found a protected cove where he was finally able to go to shore. This was an historic moment. It was the first time that any European had set foot on South African soil. It also marked the first encounter ever on South African soil between inhabitants of Europe and Africa. In this case, the Africans being the ancient Khoikhoi people. Diaz named the place where he landed Aguada da Sauburas because of the fresh water spring they found there and because they arrived there on the festival day of St. Blaise. The spot where he landed is the exact site where the Bartolomeu Diaz Museum complex is situated today. Five hundred years after Diaz landed in Mossel Bay, his epic journey would be reenacted using a specially built replica of a caravel of the period. The caravel was built in Portugal and made from pine and oak. She was named the Bartolomeu Diaz and measured 23 and a half meters in length with a displacement of 130 tons. The Bartolomeu Diaz set sail from Lisbon on the 8th of November, 1987. The captain, Master Mariner Emilio de Souza, and his 16 crew members were mostly Portuguese or of Portuguese descent. The voyage included stops at Madeira and the island of St. Helena. Exactly five centuries after Diaz, the crew of the caravel named in his honor rowed ashore to a rousing welcome at Mossel Bay on the 3rd of February, 1988. The caravel, in her final resting place inside the Maritime Museum, is undoubtedly one of the most popular tourist attractions on the Garden Route.